Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Elder Byron Herndon with the Gospel Discussion Show. I'm sitting here today with uh, Pastor To Be uh, of Set Free Ministries, uh, Pastor Israel Gonzalez. Yes, sir. And um, his call, his calling is a uh, call to set up outreach. He's, he's a, a Bible study. He's very well. Um, known for the Bible studies that he does and he has a desire to help people of all races and meet their needs in the inner cities. How are you doing today Pastor? I'm doing real good brother I'm blessed. Amen well you know we were talking earlier before the interview um, I, I, I feel very comfortable got very comfortable with you and I feel that um, you're true. Got God in your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's our main thing. We want to have God in our heart, and we want to be like Him as much as we can. Right, right. So what I want to do is today is um, um, have you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. We you can give your name again if you want to. Uh, tell us uh, uh, what your, your services. You have. A, I'm sure you have a church. Yes, yes. And tell us the the what you what just. Give us a little bit of information about yourself. Uh, all right, brother. It's uh, just like I was sharing with you earlier. It was uh, this coming Saturday is going to be 28, 28 years since I gave my life to the Lord. Amen. It's August thirty first, Saturday night, eight forty five p.m., nineteen eighty five. All right. And I'll never forget it because God did a, a tremendous uh, uh, transaction in uh, in my insides, you know, and He, he cleaned me up and. Uh, Put a desire in me to to uh, hunger to read the word, mm -hmm. you know. And I went out and, and I bought a Bible right away, and I began to read and to read and to read and to read, and, and God transformed my mind through my reading of the word. Amen. But you know, just, just speed it up, you know. I've been evangelizing for many years, going to other states, and and just seeing the power of God, you know, working uh, in lives and kids' lives, how He healed people and. And just people, you know, come to God, you know, and that's what it's all about, to feel the kingdom of God, you know. It's, it's, it's uh, my desire is to reach out to the, to the young kids, you know. I'm 66 years old, brother, but my heart is to the little kids, you know, anywhere from, mm -hmm. they, at the time that they can understand or, or, or even hear, you know, they can hear the word of God and ask Jesus to come into their lives. And, you know, and Jesus said, you know, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, I'll be with you. You know, these kids can grow up. They can give their lives to Jesus. The Holy Spirit will come into them. They can, they can grow up and go out and do their own thing, you know, go into the world. But you know what? The Spirit of God is inside leading them and bringing them back to God. Amen. You know, it might take a year, five years, ten years, maybe 20 years. But you know what? Eventually they'll come back and begin to serve God in a mighty way. You know, we have services on uh, Friday nights, every Friday night at uh, 17 West uh, Alta Vista. Okay. And that's in uh, South Phoenix, right off of Central. And uh, we have service every Friday night at 7 p.m. And uh, we're there, we're meeting, we, it's a small church right now, we just started services. Uh -huh. And uh, But, you know, we have, we have a band there, we have a three-piece band there, and uh, we do a little bit of... A little bit of Chicano, a little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of blues, you know, we, we you know, we, we, go, we get in there, brother, we have a great time, you know. Amen. Amen. Uh, the, the few people in there, man, we, we rejoice, you know, but, but we want to see, you know, God, God knows that I don't like uh, small churches. I've always liked big churches, you know, because the more of us there is, the more we can expand, mm -hmm. the more we can reach out to more people. Amen. So right now, there's a little group, they're being trained, but I believe that God's going to fill up that little church and then we're going to have to move on to a bigger place. And um, that's where we're at right now, and uh, I've been talking with you, Pastor. It's, it's been good talking to you because there's a desire in my heart also to, to start up a, a radio station. Mm -hmm. And I already have a name for it. It's going to be called Tejano Christian. Amen. You know, we're going to play a lot of, a lot of Tejano music, you know, a lot of Tejano music, uh, accordion style. But then we're going to, I, like, I love oldies. We're going to be playing oldies. We're going to be playing all kinds of music, you know, because uh, music's been in me for years and years and years. So my thing is to reach out. To all, to all God's creation, brother, Amen. and and bring them to the to the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, so they too one day will give their life to Jesus, and enter into that place of rest. Amen, amen. And um, uh, that is the Thursday night, Friday night, uh, Friday night. I'm yes, sorry. Friday night. And you know, my number is six two three, two two one twenty five thirty eight. And you can call me anytime. 
Now, do you have any other meeting times? Do you, do you hold your service and Bible study all on the same night? Uh, yes, sir. We do the same thing. We have, we have a, well, it's a regular service, but I, you know, when I was evangelizing, people saw me as a, as a preacher, teacher, mm -hmm. because I've always loved to teach, you know, to, to teach the Word of God, you know, because I can pull out a scripture, brother, and I, you know, and I can preach on that, you know, for 30, 40 minutes. Amen. But I would rather go through the scriptures and, and, and teach the people and ask them to read along with me so that so whatever they read will be engraved in their spirit. And then they can use that, you know, whenever they fall into bad times or even good times, you know. Amen. But, but it's, it's the Word of God, you know, and that's why I love to teach the Word of God. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, and you know, that's, that's one of the ministries that I've been, you know, I, I like um, ministering. I love teaching. Yes, also. sir. You know, I'm a whoop and a holler, but yeah, I, I, I am but, too. But you know, I believe now that to catch people's attention, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's time for us just to, just like we're talking now. Yeah. And and to talk to the people and tell people about Christ. Yes. A lot of times, whoop and holler is good mm -hmm. to keep people's attention. Mm -hmm. But if we have Christ in our life mm -hmm. and we know what Christ is capable of, yes, yes, we don't have to do that all the time. No, no. And I try to get the young pastors and the preachers and ministers mm -hmm. coming up look if you know the word of god and you for sure on what you know right you don't have to whoop and holler all the time exactly to spread the good news of, uh -huh. of jesus christ yeah it might even be just a testimony yes, yes. which i heard you talking about earlier mm -hmm. um um what was the main key point that brought you to christ um well i was tired brother you know i was tired of the life i was living you know a, a drug addict a uh, musician in the world, a womanizer, you know, I was just, I was just wild, you know, I was just uh, going my own way. You know, I used to tell people in the service, you know, I was going to hell 150 miles an hour mm. until Jesus stood in front of me and, and I came to a screeching halt and I gave my life to him Amen. and he turned me around. But it was that, brother, you know, I was tired and then I read the scripture that says, you know, Jesus speaking, he says, come to me all that are tired and, and heavy laden. And that's the way it was, brother. When I gave my life to Jesus, I mean, I felt like a, a, a ton of bricks left my back. Amen. And I began to weep like a little baby for about two hours, brother. I hadn't slept for about two weeks. And I remember after I cried for about two hours, I went to bed. I slept, brother, like a baby, you know, for, mm -hmm. I don't know, 10, 12 hours, you know. I got up, I got up and, man, I felt like a, a new person. And the Bible says, you know, that we are a new creation. Amen. I had become a new creation, you know, I passed from death to life, from darkness to light. Amen. And I'm so appreciative of God, what God did for me. That's why my passion is for other people to come, those people that are tired and weary, to come to God and to feel His presence and to be relieved, you Amen. know, of, of the chains of the enemy. I was bound, brother, for, for, you know, I gave my life to the Lord when I was 38 years old. So I'm going to say I was bound for 38 years. Because oh, okay. the Bible says that when we're born, we're born into we're sin. Born sin. You mm -hmm. know, so I was bound until Jesus came and set me free. My favorite scripture is John 8, 36. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I got that name from Pilar Gilad in, in California. I said free ministries over in California. Okay. And that's how, I, that's, how I, I, that's the first time I heard. But see, that, that, uh, that phrase there, set free... It hit me because Jesus set me free 30, you know, 28 years ago. So I began to use that, that set free, set free ministries in South Phoenix, John 8, 36. Okay. okay. Amen. Amen. And, and I just noticed, I looked at your name again, and like I said, it's, it is called Set Free Ministries. Yes, sir. That's a message in itself. Yes, sir. You know, and um, um, I just think, is there, is there anything else that you would like? Um, I, I heard you say you, you you have a heart for the young mm -hmm. ministry, or for young for the young adults and young people. Yes. Um, is that the, is that the type of uh, is that your ninety percent of what you want to reach out to, or is that a certain percentage of what you want to reach out to? It's just a certain percentage, brother. But you know, I would like I would like I, you know like I would like to reach out to everybody, brother. That, I mean, Jesus came; he reached out to everybody. He didn't mm -hmm. give anybody out. He said, "Let the little children come with me." You know, mm. but from there, you know, you know, the elderly, the, you know, the sick, you know, the, the, the crippled, they, I mean, everybody, you know, came to him because he was anointing from God. But I have outreaches in, in the winter months, you know, where uh, we go and we set up at, 
you know, I, continue, I, I join pastors or we go up by ourselves at a park or parking lot. Mm -hmm. We sit up and and uh, we we gather bike, bicycles, you know, 10, 15 bikes, and uh -huh. then we do basketballs, footballs, stuff like that. We give away free hot dogs. We send out flyers, you know, so the kids come storming in for, for the bikes, you know. And, and um, when do you do that? Uh, we do that uh, during the winter months, brother. I'll, I'll say we're going to start probably maybe in October. Okay. October, I mean, October, November, December, January, February, March. About five months we do them. Sometimes we do two a month. You know, if I can find pastors that, I, that are willing to work with me, we'll do two a month. Okay, well, what, we, what we'll do is we'll um, get you on the show again and we'll let you keep advertising that up until the time mm -hmm. that Pastor knows. Somebody's out there, you can contact uh, Pastor Pastor Gonzalez at that number that he gave you, which is the 623 six, six, two, area code, 221-221. Mm -hmm. 2538 and if you have a donation that you would like to help his ministry with also give yeah. him a call give yeah. him a contact bicycles is uh, very important because bicycles is what draws the kids in mm -hmm. you know so we we get little bikes you know and then we get the 20 inch bikes so you know maybe the the 24 26 Amen. inch bikes and that that's what draws them in and right. you know and then if the kids come out you know the moms and the dads are going to come out yeah so you know the, the once you know you that, that, yeah. Yeah, there's been times uh, where we've had, you know, 100, 150 kids come up, you know, to the altar call. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I asked the parents to come and stand with them. So, you know, you're looking at maybe 200 at a time, 200, you know, kids and parents give their lives to the Lord. And, you know, and that that just gives, puts joy in my heart, you know, mm -hmm. to see that, to see that. Well, you know, the Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that we must compel the people to come. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. that's just, I mean, that's just a, another extra tool yeah, that's that a, we have in the ministry. Look, look, at, look at the the adversary, the tools he uses mm -hmm. to drag the kids off, you know, into the world. You know, he starts off with cigarettes and then mm -hmm. marijuana, then alcohol, and then pretty soon it's coca, then heroina, you know. I mean, he uses all kinds of tactics, he uses music, he uses all sorts of things, you know, to drag the people off, you know, mm -hmm. and, and literally he wants to kill them before they come to Christ. Mm -hmm. So I want to I want to grab them before the enemy does. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to grab them before mm -hmm. the enemy does, and that's just a tool. We use we use uh, we use the music, we use the bikes, you know, we use the balls. We use, I mean, anything that God puts in our hands, we use, bro. Amen. And you know, clothes. Sometimes we put up a bunch of clothes up, and we tell the people there's clothes, you know, and then we we give them our hot dogs or, you know, we it's, it's just awesome, bro. This last one we had. Uh, uh, this mar this uh, market company gave us 150 pounds of meat, bro. Oh, wow. um, I'm talking not hamburger meat. I'm talking, you know, steaks and stuff like that. Bro. Mm -hmm. So the people got blessed, brother, with steaks and mashed potatoes and, you know, and all that good stuff. Oh, so wow. God, God is good, yeah. brother. God is good. Yeah. Yes, sir. So um, I'm, I'm um, say I'm new to your ministry mm -hmm. and I'm going to visit your church for the first time. Yes. What should I expect? Well, you can expect a, a rowdy band mm -hmm. and some good preaching. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and, and I, I, you are bilingual? Yes, sir, I am bilingual. Um, I, remember you tell, you, I, I remember you told me a couple of minutes ago that, um, that although you're bilingual, the majority of it is English speaking. You say, yes, sir, they're English speaking. The people are going right now. But if somebody comes in and, and uh, you know, they're from Mexico, they're Mexican, they can't understand, I'll go, I'll go bilingual. Amen. You know? Amen. And that's that's good to know because you you know um, the ready I'm pretty sure somebody's listening to this right and um, um, what I'll do is is um, at the end of this we're gonna have you do a prayer in English and a prayer in Spanish okay and um, that way I want you to um, give uh, everything that you said not everything but all your information in Spanish mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I'll try to air it I'll try to air it to over the span over our Spanish um, um, network that we have with oh, Spreaker, okay, okay. so that way people that's in, that's that's Spanish speaking uh -huh. can hear it, you know. And um, sure. um but it, you know it's good. To, you know I know we we met at the at the Youth Quick over the over the weekend on the twenty fourth yes, this sir. month, and um, as we were talking, a lot of young people came to Christ there uh -huh. from what I seen, and um it. You know that's what we need to do mm -hmm. as men of God. We need to draw, we need to draw the people in mm -hmm. to because, like you say, uh, the devil's going to use everything he can yeah. to get you clutched mm -hmm. into his into his grasp. Uh -huh. And and there's nothing but a death of hell mm -hmm. that's waiting for you. That's it. But when you get Jesus in your life, mm -hmm. you have that everlasting life up in heaven. Yes. 
and, you know, and for those who, who has parents, mm -hmm. or those who have grandparents, cousins, mm -hmm. friends, relatives, and you know they were saved, yes. don't you want to see them again? Oh, yes, yes. You know, but my main thing is, the person I want to see is Jesus Christ. There you go. Me too. You know, I'll, I'll, you know I can say hi to John, I can mm. say hi to Matthew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. but there's a song that goes similar to that. But I want to see Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, man. Come on, bro. That's it. And, um, but um, is there anything else that you have, would like to say? Well, that's, that's about it, brother. You know, it's just, uh, just the love of God working in us, you know. And mm -hmm. that love of God that's in us, we need to share it with the world. Okay, I don't, I don't, I never want to close the program without prayer. Mm -hmm. And I, if, if you're, if somebody's out there and they heard this program, and they heard this, and um, um, I want you to, to, and you got blessed by this, what I want you to do, you know, first of all, the Bible tells us to admit that we are sinners. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes. yes. And once we are admit, have admitted that we are sinned, mm -hmm. the next step is to to um, admit that Jesus Christ died for our sins. Right, right, right. And that he shed his blood and mm -hmm. he rose on that mm -hmm. third day. Yes, yes. And the Bible says, I believe that it says, as long as we confess with our mouth mm -hmm. and believe in our hearts right. that we are saved. Right, right, right. We are saved. You know? um, what I want you to do is listen to this uh, prayer by Pastor uh, Gonzalez. He's going to do the one prayer in English first, mm -hmm. and then he's going to do another prayer in, in Spanish. And then he's going to um, give you all his information in Spanish. Okay. Or actually, let's turn it around. Give your information now in Spanish. Okay. And then we'll do, do the prayer. El Señor lo bendiga ahí donde quiera que se encuentren en estos momentos. Uh, mi nombre es Pastor Israel González. Estamos en el uh, 17 West Alta Vista, en Sur Phoenix. Queremos hacer la invitación para que vengan y se congreguen con nosotros. Estamos ahí en los viernes a las 7 de la tarde, cada viernes a las 7 de la tarde. Mi número es el 623-221-2538. Lo que estamos haciendo ahí, tenemos música, tenemos uh, predicación, tenemos o, o, oración, podemos orar por ustedes. No ya sé cuál sea el problema de ustedes. Vengan y conozcan al Señor de Jesucristo por medio de nosotros. Estamos ahí predicando la verdad de la, de la Biblia, estamos sacando, no son palabras mías ni palabras del otro, pero son palabras que están saliendo directamente de la Biblia para ayudarte, para consolarte, para levantarte para arriba, para que no sigas en lo que estás, si estás adicto a la droga o estás enfermo, estás pasando por una crisis, no le hagas lo que sea, ahí está Dios para ayudarte. Y ahí estamos nosotros para orar por ustedes. En el nombre de Jesús yo les pido vengan y pasen tiempo con nosotros. Oigan testimonios de lo que Dios ha hecho en mi vida, en la vida de, de los que se están congregando ahí con nosotros. Y pues nomás vengan, traigan su familia, traigan sus vecinos y que el Señor los bendiga. Amen, amen. How do you say amen in Spanish? Amen. Amen. Same thing. Same thing. Amen and hallelujah is the same word. Same that? word. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Praise okay. Um, amen. And, and like you said, you, you got his information in Spanish and in English. And um, you're tuning in to um, the Gospel Discussion Show. And we're at Gospel Talks, at our Gospel Talk Show, sitting here with um, uh, Pastor Israel Gonzalez. Um, what we're going to do is have him close out. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll close out in English. There you go. And you close out in Spanish. There you go. Praise and God. Father, we come today, we thank you for allowing us to just sit here and, and um, fellowship and discuss your word and get the information out about yet another ministry that's doing the work for you. And Father, we ask that you touch this man and touch his ministry, Father. You know his needs and you know what his desires of his heart is, Father. We ask that you... Give all that to him, Father, to help, Father, grow your kingdom. And we just thank you, Jesus, Lord, for being who you are and coming into our lives that we may spread the good news of the gospel to you. Father, we ask that you just touch those who are sick and shut in and not able to get out, but need, but have a desire to serve you, Father. And we just ask that everything that we're doing here today, Father, this magnifies your name and magnifies you and your son Jesus Christ who had died for us and um, shed the blood for us that mm -hmm. we might be saved, Father. Amen. 
Father, we ask that you just continue to touch each and every one of us. In Jesus, your son's name. Amén. <laughs> este, quiero, quiero orar por ustedes en estos momentos. Uh, hay, un, hay un tiempo que nos damos cuenta que necesitamos uh, a, a Dios, a Jesucristo en nuestros corazones. Este, si estás pasando por algo, como dije más temprano, uh, hay problemas en tu vida, este, probablemente estás pasando por un divorcio, tus hijos se, se fueron, están metidos en las gangas, este, lo que esté pasando, me gustaría orar por ustedes en estos momentos y, y primero quisiera que hicieran una oración conmigo y que digan, Dios, reconozco que soy un pecador, por este día yo me arrepiento de todos mis pecados. Perdóname en el nombre de Jesús. Jesús, ven a mi vida. Te doy mi espíritu, mi alma y mi cuerpo. Este día yo te reconozco como mi Rey y mi Salvador. Gracias, Padre, porque has perdonado todos mis pecados en el nombre de Jesús. Si tú hiciste esa oración, espera milagros de Dios. Espera algo que tú estabas esperando, que le has estado pidiendo a Dios. Dios ya lo hizo por ti. Él lo hizo por ti hace más de dos mil años. Espera recibir un milagro en tu vida. En el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. Well, this is another, you've been listening to another episode of the Gospel Discussion Show, like I said earlier. And you can find us on our website at www dot the gospel discussion show dot com and we want you to uh, contact uh, Pastor Gonzalez and let him know that his, his talk today has touched your heart and let him know that you did hear what you heard the message that he that we talked about today and once again he will be um, doing a ministry and starting in maybe October October Uh, with the young kids with the bicycles. Mm -hmm. So for more information on that, you can give him a call again. That number is again is 623-221-2538. Yes, sir. And that's in the city of Phoenix, Arizona. South and, Phoenix, yes. Sir. South Phoenix. Yeah. And I'm sure that if um, they have transportation for people that maybe if you need just to ride and you're in North Phoenix or somewhere around the area, mm -hmm. they can figure out a way to get you there. Yes, if you yes. just have a desire that you really want to be there. Right, right. And um, I, that information as it comes will be up on our website. And um, the number, also Pastor Gonzalez's information will also, again, be up on our website. His church done. address mm -hmm. and his phone number. And, um, and hopefully I can get a picture of him, but we'll see if I can get one and then we'll put it up there later. <laughs> Uh, my wife took my camera. <laughs> uh, good. That's good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handsome young man. Don't be fooled, ladies. <laughs> But um, well, thank you again for coming coming by to the studio, Pastor. And then it was just, um, yeah, God bless you. It's awesome, you. bro. It's awesome. God bless you. And we're going to be looking forward to, to um, seeing you again yes, and having you in So maybe uh, we're going to have a Bible study. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we get together, have a Bible study. Right. I have the gift for gab, and I'm, and I'm sure. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so we don't want maybe we make one Bible study is two apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. So, but God bless you. Thank you. Uh -huh. I'm Pastor Israel Gonzalez, and uh, you're listening to Set Free Ministries on the Gospel Discussion Show. <laughs> <laughs>